Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to take just a few minutes to make an awesome Sim Lab Snake. First step, of course, is to name our project. Let's call it Sim Lab Snake. And then you need to pick the part you're going to play with. If you look at mine right here, I chose the polygon. When you bring this out, of course, we did need to flip it 90 degrees. And then I also rotated it so it was flat. Notice 90 degrees gets it so it's sitting on a flat edge. Then we can do D for drop. I held down shift and I shrunk it to a small size. I'm going to use size 8. Once again, you can pick whatever you want. You can also build with other shapes like, say, the cylinder. You can adjust the sides on this. You can do whatever you want as you make your own custom snake. Now the next part was to extend them out. Watch this. Control D. Just simply nudge until there's a tiny gap and do control D again and again to build your snake. I'm going to build this one small so it's even faster. I want to put a head on the snake. I'm going to do it with the paraboloid. Now remember this measurement here where it says 8. So if I shift squeeze this and get it to size 8, it should fit. Notice you can type the number after you're doing shift squeeze. D for drop and check that out. It lines up pretty darn awesome. I'm going to stretch it a little longer. You can customize all those little bits as much as you want. And then finally, I added the tail. Last time I used the cone, this time I'm going to use the pyramid just because it's an interesting idea. Once again, shift squeeze. I'm going to type that number eight for how large I want it to be. Then I can click D to drop. Let's make sure these are all in a row using L for a line. Bingo. We've got a silly snake shape that we can play with. I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller so that I'm sure it's floating. So I'm doing Alt Shift Squeeze. That way it goes around the middle. I like that and I'm going to stretch it longer. One click to get it close and let me show you the connectors. Now the connectors are only available back here. I always like to bring them out so that I've got them available. There are one, two, three connectors we could use, a slider, a axle, and a pivot. Today's project is going to be done with the pivot. We could add these in here, but you cannot use duplicate, which I like to use. So I'm going to go back here because now I can click on the pivot. That's the one I want to use. And I can do control D to duplicate and get it where it goes. We want to connect these all with pivots. I want it to pivot this way. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that blue tip is following the way our snake goes. I'm going to simply select this and this, choose L for a line, make the yellow one the boss, and I want it to be middle, middle on the front. Notice these are easier to see sometimes from an angle. See there's one, two, three, and we want the middle choice. And then we also want the middle up and down. So that's our connector. It's going to follow this blued line. That's the way it's going to pivot. And it's going to connect to that shape. If we click just on the connector, we can now do control D. And I'm going to shift nudge it forward to get it close to the middle. Once again, follow the blue line. Connect to the blue shape. Notice it had that orange outline while it was happening. For the next ones, I'm going to do control D. Once again, move it towards the middle, and now I'm just going to do control D to fill the rest. Back up, let's grab our part. Blue one goes forward along that axis. Orange one connects. Once again, hit the connector. Blue one follows that axis. Orange one connects. Next connector. Blue one moves forward. Orange one connects to the part. Blue one forward. Orange one connects to the part. I missed that time. Did you see this is blue? Keep an eye on your colors. There's my orange one. Took two tries. I'm going to pan just so we've got a better view of that. And this one's going to go backwards. And it's going to also connect to the part. So let's see if our project is working. If we return to the Sim Lab and we hit play, there's that one. And after several attempts, it's all connected. This one 
has parts that are fastened to the wrong spot. So we're just going to hit reset and we can fix this in here. So let's check where it's connected. See how the blue is pointed down? That is not correct. We want it forward. And then we want to find the orange one and make sure it's connected to the blue. Let's check this one again. I want the orange one here. I want the blue one up there. I've got the orange connected here and the blue out front. Notice we can click somewhere else to find it. And this one goes orange here, blue back there. Let's hit play and try again. Hey, now it is all connected. So with it like that, we can do pause, we can do reset, and I'm gonna build a quick little ramp to put it on. Once again, we're gonna back out to the normal area, make my world a little bit larger. Let's go 500 by 500 so we got more room to play. I'm gonna build a course super fast. Notice that's aiming the wrong way. Let's simply flip it with the mirror tool. That is so darn efficient. Stretch it out, lift it up. And then this is the cool thing. If we grab our entire creation and do C for cruise, we can grab that dot and set it up there in one click. Once again, grab the entire creation, C for cruise, and we'll set it up there as well. Real quickly, I do want to warn you about something. If you do the hide connectors, which is pretty cool, then grab your shape and choose cruise and bring it up here. It lands everything fine, but watch this. If you do show connectors, they don't get grabbed, which can end up being an issue later. And let's test our fun little project in the Sim Lab. Once again, it takes a moment for the little parts to become perfect. If you don't want to see the connectors, you can real quickly do hide connectors. We can click on our items and we can make them static. Of course, we don't want that to move. I'm also going to change the material from plastic to ice. Let's hit play and see what we've got. <laughs> right off the world. Of course, you can pause, back up, rewatch. You can also make videos about these. Lots of fun. So much room to experiment. And of course, now you have a better understanding of how to use the wicked cool pivot connector. Of course, friends, when you wrap it up, I always love to click the settings, pick a cooler background color, and shut off the grid. When you close settings, I think that looks a lot cooler. It may be a bonus to hide those connectors as well. Finally, if you want to show the entire world, it is so simple. Click up here on the Tinkercad dashboard. Click on your properties. Of course, give it a name, give it a description. Mine always mentions tutorial coming soon. You can also see the new shares and other ways to reach me. Finally, add some tags. And if you add the tag HLMT23 to any item you create, I check this tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Then slip down and make it public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow my tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Now today I am going to allow this one to be attribution share alike, because I'm going to leave you a starter in there so that you can build your own awesome project. Lastly, hit save changes. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.